Buongiorno Felice. That is Italian for a happy day. And the reason why is I think in this package is one of the greatest models probably we're going to see in 2021. So I bought this from eBay seller Giovaline, I guess. And it just showed up today. So let's take a look at the packaging here. We got a bag, and then it's in another bag. And the thing, this is from Japan. So, I'll lightly cut through that. Okay, so now we have some foam in here. Interesting, it says thanks, molded into the styrofoam. So that's uh, interesting. But it seems to have a parting line here. Parting line here, parting line here. To cut. So there's no doubt in my mind this seller knows how to ship something safely. <laughs> so now we have more bubble wrap and foam. So basically this thing is protected from rain with the exterior bags and it's protected from shock on several levels because there's two layers of foam. So this seller, Giovalene, that's probably the best packaging I've seen to date, but it might be due to the fact that this model was kind of pricey. All right, so this model is made by MR, MR Collection Models. Huh. That's my, uh, I look up these uh, Italian things on uh, Google Translate. So, all right, what we have is a limited edition card here. Certificate, and there we go. I guess uh, number 40 of 299. So that's cool. It was checked by someone. Their contact information. This company seems to be in Italy. Okay, so there's a piece of... Wow, really nice. It's like a fake suede or something. And it's got the stamp, their stamped uh, logo in there. So a nice reveal here. Look at this reveal. All right. Let's see on the back. Just some text in a hologram from Lambo. All right, let's take this out. Ooh. So this is interesting. The model just kind of fell off. There was tape, but... So be careful if you guys get this, how you pull it out, because that tape might not be there to save you. The box itself has more of uh, this felt kind of lining, so clearly it's a nice box, but uh, honestly, I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary, because I mean, I paid for that box, and I'll never, I'm not going to display it in a black box. So, so what we have here... Is a really interesting concept car by Lamborghini and this concept car came out in 2017 and it was a result of a 100 million British pound uh, collaboration with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT in Boston that's where some of the smartest people go to study in the world you know you're talking about robotics and space flight and all that kind of stuff so mainly robotics I think all right, look at this. I'm not going to take it off the stand because I don't even think it's an option without actually tearing this uh, felt bottom off. And again, this, you know, a model like this isn't going to roll anyways. I don't care about things rolling. This thing came in a couple different color choices. I immediately wanted to get the blue one, and then I wanted to get the gray one, and then a metallic blue one. But I ultimately uh, chose this white because the pictures I saw of it show this pearlescence. Look at how the color shifts in this clear coat. It's a little bit of gold there at the front. Then if I shift it, I mean, you can see, I think the color changing going on because this clear coat is just picking up. Wow, that's really impressive. Very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so the car itself was designed by Mitja Borkut, a German designer in the uh, Lamborghini internal design team. 
and uh, it's not a running vehicle. They built a full-size concept, but it doesn't actually operate or anything like that. The intention is to have a motor in each of these wheels, so it would be all-wheel drive if it actually did work. And then they're trying to incorporate supercapacitors instead of batteries to uh, power this thing because supercapacitors can uh, charge and dump power extremely fast in comparison to uh, batteries. So, let's see here. There's a nice plate here, of course. I'm not, I'm not even going to touch it because I'm just going to get my fingerprints all over it. Wow, yeah, so obviously it's very reflective. You can see my photo LEDs up above. Okay. So, now let's take a look here. We have the Lamborghini badge there up front. If I can focus it. Is that a decal? Oh, I think it might actually be a decal, but it's it is painted over, so there's no way it's gonna fall off or scratch off like a like a green light. Then there's some red tow hooks there in the front. So I'm a, they're so thin, I'm pretty sure those are photo etched metal. Okay. The headlights. It's hard to tell, but I do believe these little indentations or whatever ever are supposed to be the headlights. Then this is like a chromed piece of plastic. It's so reflective, it's really... It might look black at one moment, but it might look chrome at another moment. In fact, I think it actually is black plastic, and the edges have chrome paint on it. So it has a Y shape, which is a new design theme within Lamborghini. A Y shape. Looking into the cockpit, it's a really dark smoked uh, plastic, but I can see red seat belts in there and what appear to be. Oh, look at that. So something's going on there. Looks like a hexagonal, like, honeycomb pattern. Alright. And right there, if you look through, right there, look at that seat belt buckle array. Right, it has all of five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, belts running into the center buckle. So that is very nice indeed, very nice detail. It's a shame this glass is so dark, because it looks like there's a lot of stuff going on in the interior, but it's hard to tell. I can kind of see a faint Y shape again of this dashboard. It's Y or something. I think that's a dashboard and the instrument cluster might be right there. Okay. So looking at the back here. Now it's not an engine, it's supposed to be a bunch of supercapacitors. Although one thing I don't understand about this concept is what creates the energy to power the supercapacitors. It would need some sort of motor of some sort to create electricity. Okay, look at this. This I don't know what this thing would be, but it's covered in a nice crisp thin piece of plastic and it's got black printing around the border so that's a really nice thing and so behind it there's a bunch of detail printed on there we have three individual pieces of clear plastic there to show like the passive venting there I mean those are super thin plastic we're talking like packaging kind of plastic hopefully you can see that okay so the number 63 on these little winglets represent the year that Lamborghini was founded 1963 okay so now we have some winglets here on the, the doors or what maybe there aren't even doors because I'm guessing maybe this canopy opens up but not down here but it's got like carbon fiber printing I think see that texture alright so while we're at it let's look at these wheels so these wheels on the concept car actually light up they're the concept car they're like acrylic or polycarbonate uh, molded pieces so that would never really happen in the real world You're not gonna have plastic wheels running on the real world especially when they stick out a little gold line printed there or painted not really sure okay a little Italian flag here nice detail all right okay so on the center hubcap hmm I don't have a macro lens, but it looks like there is something printed there, but I don't know what. Sorry. 
no brakes because these are supposed to be electric motors. So I guess when you just let off the uh, the power, it'll start regenerating, and that would be the braking. Okay, so there's a little lip here down here. All right, so the Y theme carried over again into the tail lights. These little red plastic tail lights. Okay, so Lamborghini's printed right there in the middle. Is it legible? Hmm, I don't think it is. Yeah, or if my camera can't focus on it, it's so thin. So I apologize. But look at that. See the light over here? Right? I'll wave my finger there in front. The, that's the nice thing about this car. Since there's no battery pack taking up the whole belly pan of this frame, you know, there's supposed to be capacitors here in the middle, it frees up a lot of room. And so this would be like a teardrop shape in the back. It must come to like a teardrop, a point here. And so the air can run in, you know, from the front cooling off the brakes here then it'll, a lot of it will be dispersed through those carbon veins there but then some air will be retained and then go through the go through the back there and then cool the brakes again so I'm not sure if that's particularly aerodynamic I think just a flat-sided car would be more aerodynamic but I think it sure looks cool I mean it's definitely uh, re reminding me of like an LMP Le Mans racing prototype or a little bit of Formula One. Alright, very cool. So some sort of, I don't know, I wouldn't call that a diffuser because I can see air again. It's like a wing, but the wing is down here. But you see the air there underneath it, the light shining through? So it's not really a diffuser, it's like a small wing. But I imagine everything forward of that is a diffuser pan. So I apologize if it's out of focus quite a bit. It's just so shiny white. Okay, so there we go. Top view again. I'm gonna pull out a flashlight. See if I can uh let's try to see the interior a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it can be done. So, unfortunately, that's the best I can illuminate the interior by actually covering up the camera a little bit. But there you can see like there's a crazy white and silverish honeycomb pattern going on in there. And then the seat belts are really nice. I mean, these little red strips. And that must be like a photo etched piece of metal there where the buckles are. And then you see this floating instruments cluster there in this central Y-shaped frame running down from the, the front down the middle. So there we go. Let's see if I can get a front view maybe with the light. Get an idea of what the seats look like. It almost looked like the seats might be foam black foam pieces maybe glued onto a carbon shell it's hard to say i don't know well anyways so in my research you know i just watched supercar blondie's video on this car and micha was in that video the design chief designer and he said there's something called the gandini line marcello gandini created a lot of lamborghinis so it's this center line and Mitch uh, in that video said it was uh, from the Countach. So let's take a look at the Countach. Here's a Kyosho. I do see a similarity. You know, if you just look at the roof line, how it just kind of goes up and then starts to taper off. Same thing here, right? Up and tapering off. So yeah, I guess it's there. Whether it's there or not, I don't really care, I guess. <laughs> in reality, I just think this is a really cool looking car. I think this might be the most aggressive looking car I've seen in a while. Supercars, hypercars, they're all again just so crazy in their styling. And partially is because if they're going to electric, or in this case, super capacitor electric, this it frees up a lot of room to not have an engine there. Like So that's why this thing actually, underneath these fenders, it's just a teardrop center, center uh, body. So 
That's why you can see right there, see all the light through. All right, so very neat indeed. Okay, so now you guys, if you look up the price of this model, it's up to you to decide if it's worth it. Uh, let me just look at it with the naked eye. I see no problems. I've been looking at it only through the uh, camera, but now I'm just looking at the naked eye. And if you watch my videos, I really care about paint, paint finish. I think that's probably the most imp one of the most important things after the actual sh shaping of the molds. But yeah, this thing is painted very nice. This is a resin model, which is another nice thing. I don't think it's going to ever get paint rash because there's no zinc underneath it reacting with the paint. You know, plastic is a pretty stable material, obviously, because it'll sit in the landfill for hundreds of years. So this model should be nice as long as I don't put it near anything hot. You know, put it in a window with a lot of UV. So should be good. Okay, well, I guess if you have any comments, you know, if you're a Lamborghini fan, or maybe you just think I'm crazy to pay this much money for one car, you know, feel free to make a comment. It's a hobby. It's all about fun, right? So, uh, and I'm okay to criticism. All right, then. Well, take care. Have a good day.